you, you get the goaltender guessing a little bit as that shot goes on. Another one there by Farmer. Back-to-back -back attempts that Lycozy is able to fight off. That fourth line now moves to wing to make way for the Mavericks captain. Oh. So Dorsky now, that shot got redirected by Jackson Blake in front. Great reactionary save by Latkozy to keep this scoreless. Much pressure involved oh. in a game like this. Cameron Burke, big hit there by Albrecht. Outside the circle. Across to Blake, tipped in front by Caulfield. Latkozy with a little help from Mancini able to keep the puck out. And this crowd is on their feet. I was going to say, listen to this crowd right now. They're going to look to build some momentum. Omaha has got to be really excited. Watch them come back here. Oh, and a chance in front, and they bury it. Jimmy Glenn, one to nothing Mavericks. Jacob Gavin through traffic. Rebound there. Still loose in front, and now finally covered. 10 seconds to go on the power play for the Mavs. Off the end boards to Gavin Hayne, fresh off the bench. Hayne now. Got it in front. What a goal! North Dakota able to equalize. Jackson Blake, no, Jake Schmaltz falling on his back, able to lift that puck in. One to one. Yeah, well, fans not happy. They're booing here. They thought that North Dakota should have had a penalty, but uh, North Dakota doing a good job of just getting it. Watch this. I hate, good job by Gavin Hayne. Watch this. Finds a loose puck right here. Gets it. Stays with it. Gets that over to Schmaltz. Not sure how he was able to get that puck. Stay with it. An excellent job there. Watch Schmaltz up top. He goes back door right there. How does Hayne get that over to him? Excellent job by Gavin Hayne to deliver their own punch. He goes in, disrupts, keeps the puck in. And Schmaltz was able to be the recipient of an absolutely beautiful feed from Gavin Hain to knock things up at one apiece. Battle now in the corner. Hain back on it, up to Clevin at the blue line. Hain again through traffic, but bounced away. Lacozzi got a piece. Here is Jackson Kuntz now. Cross size, great feed in front that time. James hooking up with Sendin, who tried the wraparounds. Puck still loose. Send in shot blocks. Look at all those great jerseys packing the house. Blake. Jandrick again. Frisch one timer. Like Cozy fights it off. Rex able to control. Huskies, by the way, now up by two is Farmer. Or up two to one, excuse me, as Farmer tries to make it 2 1 in North Dakota's favor. Puck sent out of play. Krenzen. Dealt with that time by James. Puck though comes to Proctor. Berg now in front, and he finds the back of the net! Cameron Berg! Advantage restored for the home team. Two to one, Mavericks. Dylan James. He'll fire. Rebound was in front for a moment. Sendin couldn't quite get there. Be a tripping penalty on. They've got 11 seconds left before Pavanka's released. Blake, a lot of traffic in front. Payne was there. Randall, the initial block. Lacozzi, the second save. 90 seconds left in the second. Randall's got a breakaway. Jack Randall, great feed. Matt Miller had the shot saved, and then the cage went off the moorings as Hayne went flying in. And Brender, or excuse me, Brenner, excuse me, he loses out. Call fields. Dylan James. Driving forward, shorthanded. James, shorthanded tally for the freshman. Two to two. The speed of Dylan James coming to the four once again. Yeah, you saw this last weekend in Grand Forks. Look, he gets his step. He just puts the burners on again. Oh, excellent play. Get the goaltender down and leaning a little bit. Outweights the goaltender as Latkozy goes down. Watch this. Just going to elevate. Go across the grain. Up top over that glove. It's a big goal. A short-handed one. And knock things up at two apiece. With the Hain penalty. Here's a face-off win. Gaber. Knocked down in front. Schmaltz the chance to follow up by Jammer. And knocked aside. Huge save by Latkozy to keep it 2-2. Two 
roll back in a big part of this fourth line tonight and this weekend as Burke fires one in. Good save by the Ritter and a collision after the fact. Not slow in his own right, able to gain the zone. Keeps the play alive to Blake. He will spin and center. Clevin gloved by Lacozzi. Dane Jackson's got to be super proud of his penalty killers. Now watch out now. Owen McLaughlin coming in. Griffin Ness. Lacozzi. The right pad stop. Dakota's turn now. Albrecht. Ness. Sadorski. Ness again. In the back of the net. Griffin Ness. With 5.14 to play. Has given North Dakota the 3-2 advantage. Their first lead tonight. Watch how this play happens. Look at number 23, Victor Mancini. Caught in between. Does he pivot and go back into the defense position or does he try close that gap right there unable to and a good job there look at this play right there good job by Sidorsky to just get that thing right over to Griffin Ness creating that confusion loses the handle on that puck but it goes to Ness and Simon Lacozzi gets confused by that play because he thinks it's going to his right so he's got to scramble he's on a, his backside trying to get over and make that save and this fourth line delivers a monster goal with 514 left in this third period to lead three to two three the home team is trailing can they respond here Mancini now loses out send it off the crossbar James the follow-up blocked in front by Mancini Clevin with the poke check Tyler Clevin downhill Second of the series for the junior from Fargo. Is that the goal that sends North Dakota to St. Paul? Wow, look at the wheels. He sees open ice and he takes it. He elects to just take that hard shot that he has. And he's went blocker side on Lacozzi yesterday. Here he just whistles that, wires it above that pad. Just enough above that pad and below that glove where Lat Cozy, that's where you good goal scorers shoot. I mean, that's a defenseman making an excellent shot selection. K train unassisted. Four to two now, UND. Looking for more. Caulfield on the rush. Judd Caulfield in front. Gavin Hayne in the back of the net. Five to two. North Dakota. Three tonight. Wow, right. Look at this play by Caulfield. This is a heads up play. Goaltender comes out. He's been playing aggressive all weekend long. So you do, you fake the shot. He goes down, you go around him, and then a good job. Look at this. It starts on the back end from Clevin right here. You win a puck battle. Good job by Caulfield. But right here, doesn't shoot, doesn't force a pass. Look at this. Goaltender goes down. Hain goes right to the front of the net. Caulfield finds him in an excellent feed there to give North Dakota now what feels like a commanding 5-2 lead. Happy about if you're an Omaha Mavericks fan this year, uh, number one, getting home ice. Yeah, you wanted to get to the Excel, but lots of things brewing in the right direction for Mike Gabinet and this Omaha Mavericks. Triple zeros on the clock. North Dakota is headed back to St. Paul.